All right, so we're live, we're recording. Welcome to the Monday Night Call, everybody. I'm excited that you guys are here. Hang on, sorry. Melanie just messaged me. No technical issues, but she's coming. So anyways, welcome to the call. I don't know if you guys saw my video that I made earlier today or not, but I'm freaking pumped up for this week. Last week was a, a tough week for me, which I'll share a little bit about in a minute. But I feel like anytime we go through struggles like that, we're going to come out better than we were before. So anyways, I say all that to say that I'm freaking excited about everything that is coming our way because you guys are awesome. Um, so I like to start off the calls with a little bit of recognition and just some updates before we get into the meat of the call. Um, so the only new recognition that I have um, since last week is that Ashley and Chelsea went Emerald. Woo! Give them a big applause. <laughs> awesome. Way to rock That's it. That's great. Yes. Um, so as far as updates for what's going on right now in the Beachbody world, as you guys know, the 21 Day Fix is on sale this month. Um, I have been trying to post about it and share about it as much as I can without overload. Um, but one way that I have found to be popular to talk about it is that I kind of open people's eyes. Um, I say that it's only $10 when they get it with Shakeology. Because, I mean, really, it is. It's $130 for Shakeology. It's $140 for the challenge pack. So they're only getting it for 10 bucks. So that's the one way that I've been promoting it. And you guys can feel free to do that as well. Um, and then the only other update, um, if you guys run your challenge groups like I do, um, the challenge group is coming up next week. Um, honestly, I actually bumped mine to the last week of the month. That way I can make sure that I have plenty of time to get more people in and get their stuff in. Um, and just know that you guys can do whatever you schedule. I can move everyone out real quick just for a minute. I muted myself, sorry. Okay, obviously, I'm not looking in the right place. Hey Jess, you can't see me. How do I get my face on the screen? Do you see the little, um, settings? Called? It, next to settings, it looks like a little, um, camera. Oh, there it is. I see it. The camera. Duh. Yay, now we can see I'm you. totally, I'm technically challenged. <laughs> me too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Terrible. Um, I'm gonna mute everyone out just for a second. Not that I don't love you guys, but there's like feedback and stuff, and I get distracted easily. So, um, hang on. Okay. All right. So yeah. So with the challenge groups. Um, oh, and also you guys can chat in the chat box if you guys have any questions. If you're muted, so don't hesitate to use that option. Um, with the challenge groups, like I was saying, sorry, um, the calendar that I give is totally just a roadmap and suggestion of how I do my business. That doesn't mean you guys have to follow it. You can totally do your challenges, whatever week, whatever time, date you want to, as long as, you know, you make sure that you're hosting challenges every month if your goal is to grow your business. So that's just the FYI. Um, I like to always say you do you boo because not everyone's going to have the same goals and the same business. So that's my spiel about that. And now I wanted to get into the meat of the call. I'm really excited to talk about this tonight. Um, and you guys heard me posting about it in the group the past couple of days. But my topic that I wanted to share tonight is about struggles because we all have them and then belief, because belief is the thing that is going to give you confidence and help you overcome your struggles. And I actually don't wanna share myself that much tonight because Melanie is our guest speaker tonight and um, she's gonna get on and share. Let me unmute Melanie real quick. I see she's on, your, she's on her iPhone, hang on, just to make sure she's here. Well, it says Mel, is it Melissa or Melanie? Melanie, are you there? Maybe she can't hear me. I'll, I'll mute her, or I'll leave her on for the moment. Um, 
I know she's like, she's having technical issues, so she's coming. But anyway. Um, can you see me? You no, know I'm here. I can hear you. Oh. Uh, well, maybe I'm just going to have to talk without you seeing my face. No. Um, I know Ashley and I were Zooming earlier, and she said that if you're on your phone, you have to, like, swipe it to the right or left, probably right, if it's an iPhone. Oh, tap to, well, it says, okay, if I, if I swipe to the right, it says tap to speak, but you're already hearing me speak, right? Yeah. Okay, hang on. Let me oh, open. now I see you guys. You All you've probably seen is this Mel's iPhone. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Camera. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna mute you back, Ashley. Hi, ladies. Hi. I love that you're on your porch. Okay, so um, yeah, I was just gonna briefly share my tips because I really want Melanie to share her wisdom and insight about this topic. But to make a really long story short for me, last week was a tough week for me. You guys probably already know this because I've talked to several of you about it. But I let one little mishap of eating way too many dang black bean brownies like <laughs> deter my whole entire week. And I totally beat myself up and it was like this downward spiral and like this whole it was it's all mental. It's so stupid. And it's like embarrassing that I even did it, but I did it. And I'm saying all that to say, sorry, I felt like I had to sneeze, that we all have struggles. No matter what point you're at in, in your business, in your life, with any of your goals, we're all going to have struggles. No matter who you are, where you're from, where you're at, it's going to happen. Um, for me, I've learned to kind of figure out my trigger points of what makes my struggles even worse. And for me, I realized that one, it was the food that I ate because sugar is like a freaking drug and messes up your mind. <laughs> and two, I wasn't doing enough personal development. Like I was doing it every day, not doing enough. Um, so the way that I overcame it and um, got my confidence back and really like got my belief back, I guess that's what I would call it, is by taking care of myself. And I kind of realized, I was talking to Melanie on the phone yesterday, that a lot of what I was going through was complete burnout. Like I wasn't taking care of myself properly. Um, so over the weekend, I literally spent a ton of time doing personal development. I listened to Scotty Hobbs calls, like on his website, Marie Forleo, which he actually posted in the group. She's freaking awesome. And then I really just like focused on resting and alone time and unplugging. Um, and I'm saying all that to say again, that, Personal development is so vital to, and belief and positive thinking, it's so vital to every area of our life, not just our business, but just everything. It's crazy how much it can get you off track. Um, and I was reading, I'm reading this book. This is my personal development right now. It's helping me a lot. It's called Switch, How to Change Things When Change is Hard. Really good. I was reading it this morning. And it actually says in there that we are wired to focus on the negative in life. Um, mm -hmm. As humans, that's just how we're wired, unfortunately. So in order to get what you want, you have to have a very clear vision of what your goals are. And don't focus on the bad. Focus on the good. Focus on what you want more of because that's what you're going to get in your life. Um, I think Melanie's probably going to talk a lot about that, so I won't go into detail. Um, but that was just really my takeaways from the week was, you know, that I went through these struggles and my lack of self-confidence and my belief and my mindset all just downward spiral because I wasn't taking care of myself. So personal development and having a positive mindset is so life-changing. And me not doing those two things is what held me back in the beginning of my business. Like I've told you guys, I let fear hold me back because I wasn't doing enough of those things. So now I actually just wanted to hand it over to Melanie and she's going to share a little bit um, about her journey and her tips. So I'm going to mute myself out and hand it over to Melanie. Do I have to unmute? Oh, there we go. Hi, ladies. 
I'm actually honored that Jess uh, asked me to speak because this is my area of expertise. Um, we all know I'm a little bit older, um, but again, as I shared in my little mindset group with one of my ladies, um, age is just a number and old is just a mindset. So I sometimes feel like I'm younger than a lot of people my age. Um, I've always been an optimist. I've always been an overachiever. Um, I've always been a positive thinker. Um, I was always a woman of faith, but a lot of confusion in my faith upbringing, thankful for my foundation, but, um, and I was taught that you have to have a personal relationship with God, so that was very good, but I was raised in Catholicism, and I went to a Catholic school for 12 years, so that's a lot of laws and regulations that I could never, ever meet up to. So in my younger years, I would align when I made a bad choice. Oh, here we go. Something bad's going to happen to me. Then I started learning that um, once that falsehood was removed from me, um, I started doing kind of what we do now as far as the personal development. I was into fitness uh, when I was your, you guys' age and all into personal development. I went to seminars left and right. Um, then when the internet came and the computer world came, I would get my hands on every audio book that I could do because I didn't read very much then. Um, and like I said, I always, always achieved. Now, almost to the point that it was unhealthy. Um, my husband, I used to drive him nuts because anything that I put my hands to, Buddy, I was balls to the wall, excuse my language, but that's the way it is, and to the point that I would let other things um, not be attended like they should have been. So basically, I was out of balance. Um, 2008, 9, and 10, I had the most major trials throughout my life, all packed in those three years, and I lost myself. I don't know where my positive went. I didn't know where my happy went. Um, I was still pursuing my spirituality, um, but I was in bad shape mentally, physically, my health. It was all bad. Well, I chose to go back to school, and that started me. Um, my faith increased. School helped me get my mind back on track. Um, and I started climbing out of this hole and trying to find who. who Where's that person that I used to be? Where is it? Where was she? Um, and then school finished. And I'm still, I'm back to the positive. Life is good. Oh, my gosh. I'm just thinking all the great things. But I was back in the place of what am I going to do now? I've got this big debt. I need to have a job. And then Beachbody came. Um, Beachbody is my calling in life. And I'm not going to say that Beachbody Coach is my calling forever. It's helping a person change their mindset and find the balance that I have finally achieved. Um, I'm going to be straight up with all of you. God gets 100% of the credit. I used to think in these last three years there was something wrong with me because I got so in tune to God and spent so much God time that. I I thought there was something wrong with me. Well, now I realize it was all just preparation for where I am today. Um, I could not believe how all the things that I had been speaking and crying out about have all come to pass. Last year, at the end of the year, I got to watch the documentary called The Secret. I don't know if any of you guys know about that, but I strongly encourage you to watch it or get the book. It is on Netflix, and basically it's about the law of attraction. But what, what I love about it is they tie all of history. They tie the, um, the philosophers, the positive mind people, the um, spirituality. They wrap it all up into one, but it's basically based off the law of attraction. And when I watched this, I was like, oh, my God, I've been living this secret. I've been living the secret. And what it is, is number one, you give thanks in everything. 
And that was hard for me to do through 2008 to 2010 when life was god awful. But I learned to say thank you, and that increased, increased, increased the last three years. I say thank you. I cannot even tell you how many times a day I say thank you. Um, the second thing is, is you have to see it. You have to see the positive. You have to see. Don't see the, the mountain that you're looking at right there. If you do want to look at a mountain, visualize in your mind how beautiful a mountain is. If you're in a valley, visualize how serene a valley is. You know, there's flowers that grow. There's a calm lake down there. And think of yourself as you're in the valley. Okay, well, you're growing. And I started realizing, oh, my gosh, I've spoken so many things that have come to pass in my life. And I didn't even, I mean, the whole movie was, I think, only like an hour and a half. It took me five hours to watch it because I wanted to pause it and write everything down. I was so obsessed with it because I was doing it and didn't even know that I was doing it. Um, now, to beach body, my struggles. That's also a mindset. My struggles, I used to look at, and they would cause stress, especially when I started. Anything we start new is going to cause a little bit of stress. My biggest struggle when I started with Beachbody is, oh, my God, I don't have any friends. I've been alone for three years. How am I going to get any people? Um, I haven't, I dreaded social media. I didn't want to be part of social media. I even told my professors. When I get done with internet marketing, I'm going into mobile. I will not do social media. No, 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 no. Well, God says, really? Really? Well, now I love social media. My other biggest struggle was the time zone. All my, the people that I do know are all on the East Coast. I'm on the West Coast. We're not, a, it's a big three hour time difference. I have worked through that. But I'll be very, very honest with you. My struggles I now see as nothing but a growth spurt opportunity. Uh, the last two weeks, I have buckled down. The 30-day push that Melissa introduced to us, holy crap, it's rocking my world. That's the one ingredient that I lack. Because I had been out of the workplace for so long, yes, I was structured to do my studies. I excelled in school. It was all online. I had that little key component. But I really suffered in managing day to day. I used to be a nut on to-do lists. I got away from that. Um, so I was kind of scrambling on how do I structure myself again? Well, since the 30-day push and then creating this mindset go challenge that I've offered that we just started today, that's making me accountable. So I spent last week not just on the 30-day push, but studying the mind, re-upping everything that I'd already learned um, and learning more. So I am like back on cloud nine, but now it's, it's, it's in a different place. I'm not overly obsessed. I'm balanced. Um, you know, when Jess was talking about our health, she can tell by what she puts into her body that, okay, it's affecting my mind. We all know that. Well, we know exercise helps our body. But if we don't have the personal development and we don't get control of our mind, we're not in harmony. The body, the mind, and the spirit, it has to all be in harmony. Um, I want to encourage you with this as far as if you're a believer and you believe in God and you're not giving him any time, I've, I've developed the time that I actually now have to curtail a little bit. I have to say, God, help me slack off on that a little bit, but it started with 10 minutes, 10 minutes it started, and it was at a time, it was 10 years ago, and it started at a time when I had two jobs, my girls were back in my life, they were, I was helping them come through drug addiction, it was, it was the most struggling time, but it started with 10 minutes, and that has morphed, and now, I really think it's just God's blessing. He's made a way and has given me everything that I have asked. California was a dream. We spoke it. We planned it. We came here so many times. It's a dream. My, I, could, I could write down a list of all the things that I spoke just in the last 20 years that actually have come to pass. 
it's just amazing. And it's because I said, you know what? It's going to happen. It's going to happen. The same way with the beach body, it's baby steps. Yeah, I want to reach Diamond by November 6th. I don't know that that's going to happen, but I'm going to give it my all every single day. I'm going to build these relationships. I'm going to keep letting these people on them. I care more about them than selling them a product because that is where it's going to be for me. People don't care what you know until they know that you care. They have to know that you care about them. They have to know that you're genuine. I mean, the, we're bombarded with information and products every single day. So the bottom line is if you take the time for personal development, like Jess was saying, um, come up with your schedule. Um, continue to do the little things that you're doing, but more than anything, try to view everything in a positive light. Everything that comes to your mind, if you're feeling like it's making you, oh, stop, take a breath, try to really think, why am I feeling this way? What is it? Is it something I can control or is it something that I have no control over? If it's something you control, you take action steps to fix it. If it's beyond your control, then you go to your God and you say, Lord, take it from me. And you will see a tremendous, tremendous difference. But it will take, for me, it took quiet time, meditation. It took working out, eating properly. And now my final thing is the back to the personal development and developing a structure. And um, I just feel absolutely empowered. I'm so blessed by every single one of you women. Y'all have no idea how much you impact me. I'd like to comment more on how y'all do that. <laughs> but the what you post, um, all the information really, really helps me. And my final thing is this, social media, because that was my struggle and now I've embraced it. I, like everybody else, could get overwhelmed. Oh, I don't want to spend my whole life on social media. Oh, I want to make sure that I meet everybody and, and take care of everybody and encourage everybody. So a month ago, I finally said, when I got stressed out over it, I said, okay, God, I can't. Help me get control of it. So I said this one simple little prayer. Please, I'm going to trust you 100% that whenever I get on social media, whether it's Instagram or Facebook, that you're going to put before me exactly what you want me to see. And I'm going to believe that with no doubting in my mind. You guys, that was a month ago. In the last two weeks, I have been blown away because I do have a handle on, I'm not on social media 24-7. I'm balancing myself. And every time I get on it, Something there is exactly what I need to see, either to encourage a person or information, like for this challenge that I got. Um, stuff that is put right before me exactly when I need it. So to me, that prayer is working. But that's what works for me. Um, so I encourage you, like Jess was saying, she's a great leader. She's gone before us. She's the social media queen. We can learn a lot from her. We can continue to learn a lot from each other. So I love all of you, and th thanks for asking me to speak, Jess. And um, again, if you haven't seen The Secret, I do encourage you to read it or watch it. It will change your life. I love it. Thanks so much for sharing, Melanie. I like You're welcome. Uh, I always get the chills every time I think about all the awesome things that are going on that God is doing on our team and in our, all of our lives. It's just super exciting. Um, mm -hmm. and I appreciate you all your compliments. That's so sweet. And for all you shared, I love it. Thank you. Thank you. So guys, we only have nine minutes left before this thing stops. We um, have this meeting because I don't have the paid version. But um, what I wanted to do is to kind of give you guys um, some action items based on this call. And I know this call isn't necessarily one of those calls where I'm teaching you, you know, exactly how to invite or exactly how to do this or exactly how to do that. 
But the reason why I wanted to talk about this topic tonight is because I feel like, you know, I just felt like it was on my heart to share it with you guys because, you know, from the outside, it may look like my life is all like rainbows and roses and all this kind of, you know, chocolate boxes and stuff just because, you know, I've been able to reach a certain point with my business and quit my job and do all that. But no matter, like I said earlier, no matter where you are, you're always going to have struggles and life's never going to be perfect. And you're always going to have goals that you are still aiming towards. Um, and I just thought that it was important for you guys to know that I struggle too. I'm human too. It's totally normal. Um, I just totally lost like the whole point that I was trying. I think that was the point I was trying to make with that. You know, I wanted to share it. It was on my heart. I felt like it was important to share it. Oh, this is what I was going to say. Um, but the thing that we have to do, like we've been saying, is no matter what struggles we're going through or how hard life feels, if we can just focus on the good and have a positive mindset, mm -hmm. learn to have gratitude and appreciate where we are, that's going to immediately change your life before your circumstances even change. And I totally stole that from my pastor, but it's true. Um, so mm -hmm. some items today. This is super simple. Um, like I said earlier, if you, if, you know, if you're struggling or if you're having um, self-confidence issues or a lack of belief in yourself, I want you to have a clear vision and goals and a focus on what you really want your life to look like. The awesome thing about this business, you guys, is this light or this business gives us the ability to design the life kind of life we want. And maybe you haven't been able to mm -hmm. get a job yet, or maybe you haven't reached all your goals yet. I haven't either. Um, the thing is, it's worth it. It's going to be worth it to put this in and get through these struggles and reach the kind of life that we want. But it's so important to know exactly what you want. Because if you don't know what you want and it's not clear to you, you're going to feel like you're spinning your wheels and you're going to feel lost. So I encourage you all to write your goals down, have a clear vision, make a dream board, you know, speak into your life. Like Melanie said, what you really want it to be about. Um, and with that, if you guys feel like you need to focus a little bit more, because, you know, with Beachbody, there's so many different things you can do, and there's messages that you get, and notifications, and all these distractions, I encourage you guys to just focus on the three vital behaviors, put your blinders on, this is what I have to do, mm -hmm. I have to hide my phone across the room while I'm doing my business activity tracker, and focusing on the three vital behaviors, and just stay laser focused on that clear vision, and say, that's really it, is having that clear vision writing your goals down and staying focused. So the, sorry, I talk all over the place. So the two action items today would be to make your vision clear, make your dream board, make your goal list, know what you want. And number two, just do your three vital behaviors every day and focus on what you want. Um, or I'm sorry, keep focused. And another thing, this is not anything you have to do, but this is just a tip that helps me. Um, it's not directly related to the business somewhat, but I have like a daily affirmation. I was going to grab my journal, but it's not where I thought it was. I took a picture of it, so I'll share it with you guys. But I have like 10 things that are goals that I want to happen, but I speak it out loud every single day. So, and I say it in front mm -hmm. of me. You know, I am debt free. I am top coach of 2015, like et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you speak into your life what you want to happen and write it down and do it every day. Do it at the beginning of the day, the end of the day. The more you focus on what you want to attract in your life and focus on that, then the more your mind is going to attract all of those things into your life and all the people and ideas and inspiration to make those goals happen. So can I interject there real quick? Yeah, of course. That that's the whole deal. Is she's talking about the secret ladies? Um, any the negative thinking. If you have any negative thinking, you have to get a handle on that and remove it. Instead of saying, "Oh, I don't like to cook," I changed this by saying, "Cause I used to say it. I used to say I hate cooking. Now I say, or I turned it into, I'm going to be a great cook one day, and I'm a good cook now. Um, so." I, I actually have removed the hate word from my vocabulary when it comes to, oh, I hate this or I hate that or I hate this. I don't even say that anymore. I just say, oh, you know what? I am going to be an excellent time management person. Um, and that's speaking those things 
you give thanks, you see it, you believe it, and then you receive it. And that's the law of attraction. But if you think negative, that's exactly the negative energy you're going to get. And you're going to find it all the way around you. You think positive, you are going to have positive vibes all around you. And you're going to attract that. That's what the secret is. And I am living it. And all of us are going to be living it together. We're all going to get to meet one day. Yes. I believe in that. Me too. I love it. And it's so true. Like, um, I, I, what you said, you said that to me yesterday on the phone, Melanie, and that helped me realize I need to stop saying all these things I don't like. I don't like following the schedule. I don't like cooking. I, well, I was saying, hey, I hate following a schedule. Like, I don't like structure. Mm -hmm. I hate cooking. Mm -hmm. But all of those things, even though I don't like them, if I do them, it's going to help me. It's going to help give me the kind of life that I do want. So, I'll be happier yeah. when I can cook more. I'll be happier when I do have a structure in place because I'll feel less. And I did it today. I feel less stressed out and I feel like I have more time and I know it's going to be carrying me towards the goals that I am focusing on. So, um, I well, girls, this is what I learned today. You have 50,000 thoughts that go through your brain every day. 50,000 process through your brain every single day. 95% of them are repeated thoughts that's all we say if you say you don't like something you don't even realize but it's being repeated in your brain without you even being consciously aware of it that's why you have to eliminate all the things saying all the things you don't want and only focus think speak the things that you do want for your life and you'll watch it happen amen girl so we only have a minute left. I did want to open, I can't talk. I wanted to open it up for questions, but I want to leave you guys with this quote first. Um, I really liked it. I found it today on Pinterest. So it says, you can have anything you want if you're willing to give up the belief that you can't have it. I loved that quote. Mm -hmm. So if you guys do have any questions, it's going to end on us in a second. Go ahead and just go post in the Fit and Faithful if you have questions. And I'll restart another link um, or another video chat call and I can get on and we can answer questions if you guys have any. But if you don't, it was great talking to all of you guys. I love you guys so much. Stay positive. Believe in yourself. You guys are all amazing. I love you. And have a good night. Bye.